Hi guys and welcome to the fourth episode of my series on international trade and today we'll be looking at the Cooper Maslow proposition which basically says that customs unions are worse for welfare than liberalisation across the board multilaterally. Okay, so let's go into an official definition, and it says under first best conditions, there, these conditions are down here if you want to refer to them, under first best conditions, always a non-geographically discriminatory trade policy that is superior to any type of preferential trade agreement. So essentially at its core, it's saying that multilateral gives you more welfare than bilateral or by customs unions. And we're going to explain this in the diagram coming up. Okay, so we have the standard supply and demand diagram here and we have pH. pH is the status quo price and it's essentially the world price multiplied by some tariff and we're going to call that tariff T2. So multiplied by some tariff T2. Um, and we're going to reduce the tariffs multilaterally so that all countries receive this tariff reduction. And this therefore, the reduction in price goes from pH down to P. W1 plus T. And we're also going to say for convenience that the partner country that we're considering having a customs union with is equal to PP. So those two prices are the same. And we're going to look at which is better for welfare. If we assume that both the price reductions are the same, what's better for welfare? A customs union or unilateral reduction in tariffs? Okay, so we can look at this and we can break it down to consumer surplus to start off with. So the price has fallen from PH to PP if we formed a customs union. So that leads to an increase in consumer surplus by A, B, C and D. How about producer surplus? Prices has, have reduced in the economy if we followed through this customs union. Hence, therefore, producer surplus falls by A units. And what about tax revenue? Well, essentially tax revenue, we used to be getting a tariff of this amount. And we used to be importing this amount. Hence, therefore, our old tax revenue used to be this much. So we can say tax revenue has fallen by minus C minus G. And then how about if we do a unilateral, a unilateral reduction in tariffs? Okay, so again we say the customs union is going to be A plus B plus C plus D because the price pH has fallen to this new level here. Producer surplus again falls by minus A. But in tariff revenue, this is where it gets slightly interesting because we used to be getting C plus G in tariff revenue, but now we are importing this amount at only this much tariff. Hence, therefore, we get E plus G plus F in tariff revenue, but we lost C and we lost G. Therefore, the overall net result in tariff revenue is plus E plus F minus C. So if we look at the overall differences between the unilateral reduction and the customs union, consumer surplus are exactly the same in both examples, producer surplus are exactly the same in the both examples, but it's where tariff revenues are that stand out on why uh, customs unions are worse. If you look at customs unions, they're definitely bad because we have minus C minus G. However, tariff revenues for the unilateral reduction are plus E plus F and minus C. Hence, therefore, this is greater than for the customs union. Thanks for watching guys, please hit the subscribe button, 
you from my video, thumbs up if you liked it, and please follow me on Facebook.